Hello lovely people, thank you for watching and um, welcome if it's the first time that you're watching my videos. Today I'm going to talk about failure and um, how to deal with that, three steps to overcome failure and to not let it um, affect your success going forward. My name is Roel, I am a health coach, a diabetes practitioner, nutritional therapist um, and um, I do these videos uh, on a fairly regular basis now because um, I just love to um, help people to find out that actually a lot of their health, or most, not a lot, or most of their health is in their own hands. We have the power to be as healthy as we can be. Of course, there are certain things that we can't avoid, but on the whole, um, our health is uh, in our control. And so I um, put out content, videos, um, um, blogs, free um, spreadsheets, just to help people to find out what they can do to be the best version of themselves, health-wise anyway. Um, so today I would like to talk about failure. It happens to all of us. We can't be successful all the time, of course. We're only human after all. And the problem is when we try to do something and we don't succeed for whatever reason, we feel a little bit shit about it. And the problem with that is that when you feel bad about yourself, you tend to do worse. And when you feel good about yourself, you tend to do better. So it's not very helpful to feel bad about things um, and especially not uh, about yourself. So um, I just want to mention three steps that may be helpful if you've been in that situation or maybe you are in that situation where you're trying to make some changes it's not happening, you're not doing what you set out to do, uh, you're not getting the results that you'd like to see and you start to feel a little bit bad and maybe it's something that happened before, it's a, repeat, a repeating pattern and you feel that you will never be able to be successful and of course that is going to be a self-fulfilling prophecy because if you think you can't do something it's fairly likely that you're not going to be able to do it. So easy, uh, easily said than done um, because uh, you can't help feeling a little bit bad if you mess things up and you don't do what you wanted to do. But there are three things that I think may help you to overcome that to an extent. One is just remind yourself that failure is it's normal, it happens to everyone. We can't be successful all the time and there are going to be times where you're not going to be successful and that's okay. Um, it doesn't it doesn't identify you. I think that is the biggest problem uh, if people start to identify themselves with a failure and they think that they are a failure because they failed and that's not true. You may have failed um, but it doesn't make you a failure. It just means that this thing didn't happen the way you want it to happen. And I don't really like to think about this as failure anyway. I always like to see it as data collection, research. That's all you're doing. You're trying something and uh, it didn't work and you're just gonna try and find out why it didn't work. And so it doesn't mean that you're a failure. It just means this thing didn't go how you planned it to go. Um, then um, that sort of brings me to the second step. So the first step is to just acknowledge that, that these things happen, setbacks happen, it's normal, it's temporarily, it's not identifying you as a failure. Then number two is um, to ask yourself, what can I learn from this? What happened? Why did I not do what I wanted to do? Is it something that's within my control? Or is it something that is outside of my control? If it's outside of your control, then obviously you need to jog on anyway because it wasn't anything to do with you. It was just something outside of your control. For example, if you made this plan that you were going to um, run three times this week and you break your leg, then obviously you cannot run. That's outside of your control. So then hopefully you are sensible enough not to even um, 
blame yourself for that in the slightest because it's not your fault. So firstly, determine, is it within your control or outside of your control? If parts of it or all of it are within your control, then just ask yourself, what was it then that I could have done differently? Could I have created an environment that was better for me to succeed? And I spoke about that in a previous video, so you can have a look at that. Um, and check that you've set yourself up to be successful. Or um, is it something in my mindset that needs to change for me to be more successful? Then there's so many resources out there that can help you with that as well. Just be very, very analytical about it. Just step back and be a little bit clinical, a little bit detached from what happened. And imagine you're an outsider and you're looking at this issue and you ask what happened? Why did this person not succeed? And then when you find out what that is, ask yourself, OK, what, what can we change? What can we do about that? And then you're taking control. And in fact, then you're not succeeding can become a very useful experience because you're now using it to learn from it and to move forward. And step number three would uh, would be to prove to yourself that it is temporarily and that you're not a failure by taking just the smallest step to um, to get back on it, to try something again, whether it's the same thing or something else, but don't just be paralyzed and depressed by the fact that you failed and that you didn't do what you wanted to do, but ask yourself, okay, what is one little thing that I can just start doing right now that's gonna make me feel a little bit better? It's gonna make me feel like I'm not a failure. So, of course, make sure that you're not going to then set yourself some ridiculously um, ambitious goal and that may not be possible for you to do um, because you want it to be something that you're going to be successful at. And whether that is just the tiniest little thing, one little step for you to get back, back on the horse and make yourself feel good about yourself, because then you'll do better. If you feel good about yourself, you will do better. So three steps. One, acknowledge that you're not a failure, you just had a setback. Two, what can you learn from it? And how can you apply that going forward? And three, what is one little thing that you can start doing now to feel a little bit better? And so you're back, you're back on it. Um, I hope that's helpful. And um, let me know in the comments if it is or if it isn't, I'd love to hear from you. And um, if you like my tips, then uh, feel free to ask for a free PDF that uh, gives you a lot of suggestions on how to find out why your diet may not be working for you. Uh, maybe you've made some changes in your diet, but you're not getting the results that you thought and hoped you would see. Uh, I give you some suggestions on why that may be. And um, when you um, um, ask for that free PDF, you will then automatically receive uh, weekly emails with helpful, hopefully helpful tips, uh, how you can be as healthy as you can be. But if you just want the PDF, then um, as soon as you get the first email, just unsubscribe and I will never bother you again. Um, thank you so much for watching. Uh, have a wonderful week and um, love you lots. Bye.